Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com. Today is Tuesday, so I hope you're not confused, but I uh, announced last week that I was going to broadcast on Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Normally my days are Wednesday at 11 a.m. on my Facebook page, and let's see here. Is that it? There it is. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm glad that you're here if you're going to join me today. I had to come on a day early because here in the U.S. we have a holiday coming up called Thanksgiving, which is held on this coming Thursday. My kids are going to be home from school Wednesday through, and in our district, they're staying an extra long time at home. So it's going to be Wednesday through Tuesday. So they're going to be home for like seven days straight with me. And I thought I'd better get my broadcast in today so that I can, I can share some fun ideas. Um, this idea that I'm going to bring you today is a little wine, it's actually a large wine bottle tag. I've made little ones before. In fact, tomorrow, if you visit my blog at stampyourartout.com, I'm going to announce some stuff, uh, some really fun stuff that you can get your hands on. And in that stuff is a little tutorial for a smaller version of this. So I hope that you uh, can tune in tomorrow for that too. But it's busy week for a lot of us here in the US. I am going to run to the grocery store right after this and get some groceries. Um, all right, I'm gonna click on my buttons here to make sure I've got, that I'm on the right page. <laughs> I've got some people here. Oh, yes. Awesome. There are my comments. Yay. I've got some people watching. I'm so glad that you guys are here today because this is a crazy busy week here in the U.S. Awesome. Um, also, another thing, just an update because some of you that follow me um, are probably curious. My dad is having surgery tomorrow, the day before Thanksgiving, and then he's coming home Thanksgiving Day. So we're going to have a really memorable Thanksgiving. We're going to be um, blending foods and giving him soft stuff and I don't know what you know it's it's gonna be interesting to see what he eats that day or even if he has an appetite so um, we have some fun interesting stuff ahead <laughs> and thank you for all of you who have um, sent your blessings and your your well wishes I'm gonna bring you down first to the desktop today so that you can see what we have going on with I'm sorry I'm just playing with some buttons here what we have going on we're, I'm going to be sharing uh, the wine bottle tag made with the Cup of Christmas stamp set and the coordinating dies called Cup of Cheers dies. And this is what they look like. They coordinate really well. You can stamp and you can die cut and you can mix and match a whole bunch of things. So I hope that you're um, impressed with uh, one of the dies that I'm going to use today. I, I thought of it at the last minute. I'm like, this is a pretty cool idea. So that way we didn't have to bring in any extra punches or things like that to make this wine bottle tag. Normally I use a circle punch for the top of the tag. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to actually show you the finished uh, tag. And then we're going to move along to making it. So it's got a little pocket in there, kind of a pseudo pocket, because it's just wrapped up with a ribbon. And this goes over the top of the bottle, as you can see. Isn't that cool? And I have to I have to say, I'm very impressed. My husband must have been reading my mind because look at the colors on this tag on the bottle. They're like almost exactly the same. I've got some navy in there and I've got kind of a champagne color which goes really well with the terracotta tile ink pad that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. Before I do though, I do want to tell you that if you are commenting while I am sharing my online paper crafting class stuff with you. If you're commenting, saying hello. Hi, Robin. Um, <laughs> she's getting a pedicure. Awesome. Um, and you're making me giggle. No, you don't have to make me giggle, but tell me where you're from. Tell me about yourself. I love reading through them. Another thing with comments, um, I have been getting behind in them, and I need to admit that I'm about 2,000 comments behind in reading things that you've written to me. And I got overwhelmed and I talked to a couple other demonstrators who do Facebook Lives and YouTube videos and they said, you need to let your viewers know that you can't acknowledge all the comments. <laughs> and I think I need to, get, need to just let you guys know that even if I don't click like, I am going to read through them if I haven't already. I feel so bad. I, used, I was at a point in the beginning where I was commenting on all of your comments and then I got to the point where I was at least liking all of them and now I'm like overwhelmed because I'm 2,000 behind. Literally, I'm serious. <laughs> so I am going to read them. And if I see any questions, I promise you I will answer them. Um, but uh, please forgive me for being behind. 
um, one of my demonstrator friends says, would they rather you stamp more or read your comments and, and respond to them? <laughs> so I hope that that's okay with you guys. And thank you for the prayers, Cindy. And, and I know a couple of you are also commenting like that. I'm not catching all the comments right now, but I will read them. I read, I'll read them. I'll pr I promise. I'll go back and read them. Okay. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Um, all right. So I think we're ready to go. Let's go to the... Uh, there we go. These are the measurements. The measurements that you will need to make this wine bottle tag will be for Knight of Navy, we're going to cut an 11 by 3 inch piece of cardstock and score it in three places. Um, you can actually adjust this score line here, the three and a quarter inch. You can adjust that to make it three inches or whatever you want, depending on your bottle size. I chose three and a quarter because typically I insert a punch into that end and give it a a circular little hole at the top but we're going to use the dies for that so you use one less tool we also need some whisper white um, cardstock and some designer paper i chose the woven threads designer paper because i wanted to share with you the beautiful seaside spray metallic ribbon that i haven't used much yet so we um that coordinates really well with the woven threads designer paper so those are layers basically for decorating and then over here, you can see we have the Cup of Christmas stamp set, the dies. If you do decide to get them and you haven't gotten them yet, you can bundle them together and save 10%. So if you like both the, the stamp sets and the dies, that's how I recommend you purchase them. Knight of Navy, Terracotta Tile, Inks. Wink of Stella is also like an ink. It's more like a paint, and it brushes on kind of a shimmer. Um, so we're going to color with that. I'm... I can't wait to show you that. Maybe some of you know how to do it. In fact, a lot of you might. But um, those of you that don't, you, you'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, rhinestones, paper trimmer, all the tools down here, adhesives. And of course, we're going to be using some chocolate squares from Ghirardelli because they fit perfectly. Stampers love that stuff. All right, so let's, um, I have to go back because I forgot to grab something. Another tool that I didn't list because I am not going to be using it on my project, but I am going to demonstrate something with this and kind of compare that to the Wink of Stella. That's called a blender pen. Um, all right, here we go. You guys ready? Oops, let me get in there too. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm putting all, you guys don't see what's going on in the background, but I'm pushing all these buttons and it's kind of, it's funny. It's funny to me. There. Let's start with the cardstock. I had, um, I've had viewers in the past tell me there's a lot of talking in the beginning and not a lot of stamping. And I have to tell you that in order to teach people the process of all of this stuff, you kind of have to give a lot of the what's going to happen stuff um, at the beginning. So if I'm one of those people that you think rambles too much, I invite you to just kind of wait and don't watch the lives or scroll through. <laughs> you know, there's a thing called a fast forward button. All right, three inches by 11. So this is our 11 inch cardstock. Um, it's 11 inches in this way, and we can get two of these tags out of one sheet. If you're using 12 by 12 cardstock, you can get four out of one sheet. We're gonna score now at three and a quarter inches. We're rotating it this way, and we're, uh, we're scoring parallel to the short side. So we want our short side to be here, and this is where we're gonna score three and a quarter inches, and then we're scoring at eight and a half, so we have to extend the arm on our trimmer. Hey, Catherine from Dublin, Ireland. I love it, yay. And then there's eight and a half right there. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. Eight and a half inches is right on the arm here. We're gonna score there. And then the last one, I'm peeking at my, my measurement guide here, is nine and a quarter inches. And that's so that we can fit two Ghirardelli chocolates in there, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Karen. She loves the talking. I love that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really don't talk that much, I don't think. I mean, I've seen, never mind. I'm going to just move on. Okay, so I try to get through. In fact, I don't really look at my comments that much, and I feel guilty for not conversing with you guys more. And Donna, I love it. Phones do have a mute button. So does, uh, you know, the computer, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this pocket here is what's going to hold two chocolates. Thanks, you guys, for the support. And this score line here is going to fold back, and that's what's going to go on top of the wine bottle. If you've never made one of these before, they're really cool. 
Also another thing to note with wine bottle tag patterns, if you leave off this score line and you still put your hole in there, you can use them as door hangers. Even if you have the large knob type of door handles, because what you can do is you can put the hole there and then trim a little cut inward like that and you can open it up and stick it on a door. So that way, if you have like a little pocket holder like this, you can leave a goodie on someone else's door. All right, and they don't even have to go on wine bottles. You can put them on, um, you know, like any kind of bottle. It could be a large water, water bottle or something, right? Let me introduce you to the Woven Threads Designer Paper. Um, this paper, by the way, is in our annual catalog. Right now you're thinking, eh, it doesn't match very well with the navy. Um, there is a color in here, and it's one sheet that I'm actually gonna use that has a blue color called Seaside Spray. And Seaside Spray looks excellent with Night of Navy. Um, it has a tinge of this orange color in here, which actually is pretty good with Navy as well. Um, so we're gonna use that. In fact, is it blue and orange? Are they complementary colors? I think they are. I'm trying to think of the color wheel now. Yes, they are. Maybe that's why they look so awesome together. So the terracotta orange and then this blue here, and it's on, let me, see I don't have full pieces of all the sheets, but it's on this one here. This packet of designer paper is um, basically all the shades of the in colors that got introduced this year. So that's why you have such a fun, soft array of colors. We've got the peacock, we've got the purple posy, rococo rose, um, the seaside spray and the terracotta tile. So this is the sheet and I've already cut it down to a six by three inch piece. And the reason why I chose that size and I didn't cut it down to the two sizes that I indicated on the measurements is because I wanna show you this. If you take a 12 by 12 piece of designer paper, zoom out just a little bit more here, you can get eight of these out of one piece. So if you're cranking out a bunch of these wine bottle tags for friends, for gifts, for a craft fair, um, you know, that kind of thing, you can get eight from one sheet. So now, now I'll take and cut this to five inches by three and one inch by three. We've got our two pieces that we needed. I'm gonna move, move this out of the way and we're gonna bring in our pieces that we need to die cut. Hang on a minute, sorry about that. Reaching forward, you get to see my face really close up. <laughs> All right, let's bring in the big shot. This is our old die cutting tool. We're getting a new one soon, you guys, but I want to demonstrate some die cutting with you. Die cutting works pretty universally on um, the die cutting machines that are out there. So if you don't have this one, hang on and wait for the Stampin' Up one. It's coming soon, I hear. Um, or I'm sure the one that you have at home will probably work too. For our dies, we're gonna be using this one that has the poinsettia in it. And we're gonna be using this one that has the outline of a poinsettia flower stamp. And the last one we'll use is this one, which is basically the leaves for that flower. So, and I forgot to grab a scrap of Night of Navy. I did write it down though, so that's good. I'll just have to reach back and grab it. So for the top portion of your wine bottle tag, right, Cindy, I'm sorry, I just saw your comment, that's awesome. So for the top of your wine bottle tag, we're just gonna center this in here and we're going to put our cutting mat on the bottom and on top and crank it through. She said um, it would be great for neighbors' doors or kids' doors, yes. Um, so you could have your kids walk around to all your neighbors and hand out little tags with chocolate hanging from them. Okay, so what we did is we put a hole in the top of our wine bottle tag without using a circle punch. So cool, right? All right, let's take our scrap and we're gonna stamp our flower with the terracotta tile ink because we're gonna die cut that next. So here's the flower from that stamp. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp it twice because I wanna show you the difference between coloring with that tool that I brought in at the last minute and the Wink of Stella tool. So if you were to use a blender pen, which is awesome for coloring, and now we need to zoom in again, um, the, the blender pen helps to pull color from the edges of your stamp image. You can see that there. 
and you can, it's awesome. So if you're using a watercolor or a water-based ink, that um, like these classic ink pads, you can do that type of technique, okay? You wanna do it right away when the ink is pretty fresh, and then you can just scratch off until it runs clear and you're able to use it on another color. Now the Wink of Stella, it does the same thing, only it adds glittery kind of shimmer to it. So it's a wet ink that when you color with it, you can get that same blended look. Is, not, is this not awesome or what? I can't wait to show it to you close up too. So you get this blended look like this, and when you're done, ah, it's, I'm, I'm singing because I can see it from here. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. You want to do the same thing. Run it till it runs clear. So Wink of Stella, again, awesome, awesome stuff. So here is the difference, and I'm going to turn it to the light so you can see. Hopefully we can see. Um, oh, I wish the lighting was better. Maybe you guys can see it. I'm not sure. But this one here is just the blender pen. I'm gonna go up a little higher. And this one is the Wink of Stella. Please, oh, there we go. There, I got the angle just right. So you can see there's a little shine and shimmer to that one as opposed to this one. No shine and shimmer. So we're gonna die cut that one. And we'll set our die on top. Oops, we gotta zoom out again. We'll set our die on top. And uh, I'm gonna grab a post-it note too. At the same time, what else was I gonna grab? There was something, oh, a Knight of Navy piece of scrap paper. There we go, that's how it fits. I'm grabbing a post-it note because this is such a small die and I don't want it to move on me. And post-it notes really help, especially if you don't have like the magnetic, there's a magnetic platform that um, goes with this. All right, I got my post-it note. You guys get to see more of my room when I back up, don't you? And here is my scrap. <laughs> All right, we're ready now. So we're just gonna stick this over the top like that and put our cutting mat back over the top, sandwich it in. The post-it note will hold the die in place. And there we go. Oh, I know why I didn't bring out a scrap because I already have them cut. Huh. Alrighty. Here they are, they're on the table. So that was what you needed the um, Knight of Navy scrap for. <laughs> I don't need to cut this now. So you're also gonna cut out those beautiful leaves. Okay, so we'll set all of our dies aside and we'll bring this back in and we'll set this behind me. Fun stuff, I can't wait, I can't wait, okay. So the next thing you'll want to do is either poke out all of these with like your take your pick tool end or a pin or something like that. But there's this thing called the die brush attachment, which you can also use with your take your pick tool. So you just screw off that end, screw on this end. And I find it easiest to put the die back on top. Oh, see some stuff is just falling out already, which is great. But I think it's easiest to put the die back on top and then take your um, tool and scrub while you're holding them together like this. And it just, they kind of loosen up in, in your fingers, kind of behind your fingers like that. Pretty quick and easy that way. And then you don't have to take and poke each one of those little things out. You might have to grab a few at the end, like these stubborn ones right here. But, um, but overall, most of them fall out pretty quickly. Okay, so after you've got those out, all those little negative pieces, then we're going to take a paper snips, a scissors that was designated for paper. Now you can see I have already cut mine out, but what you'll wanna do, and here I'll lay it over the top so you can see, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna cut so that you're keeping some of those leaf shapes together. Um, don't cut them so that they're blunt because a lot of this is going to show. So I'll just trim like here in this section here, even though it looks like it's really close to this spot, you can take and cut at an angle so that when you remove that, it actually looks like the leaf shape it needed to be. Okay, so just be really careful when you're trimming those up. All right, so we've got the, that piece, those pieces, that piece. I think we're all set with, oh, we got to stamp some stuff. 
we have to stamp our white papers. Okay, so we've got two pieces of white here that we still need to work with, and these are gonna hold our sentiments, okay? I'm clearing things out of the way because I wanna make sure I'm um, using all the things that I said I was gonna use. There we go, they're all in here. We're ready. <laughs> all right, this stamp says, Sweet Christmas Wishes, which I thought was appropriate for chocolate, right? So that's gonna get stamped on one of these tags. And I loved the idea of putting this fun little um, holly leaf and berry image on the sides of that just to kind of decorate it up a bit. And then on this one, you didn't see this one yet because this is actually on the inside of the tag. And that says, wishing you a Christmas filled with love and happiness. So when they open the tag, it'll say that and you'll have your name under there. Okay. The last thing is to make sure we have the ribbon. And I said 17 inches, right? So let's make sure I'm right. 12 plus five is 17. Someone asked me once where I got my ruler. Um, sorry, this is a ruler that Stampin' Up! had many years ago. <laughs> and you might find one on eBay, but they don't have it anymore. So I just, I kept it because I love it. But any ruler will work, okay? <laughs> if you're measuring out ribbon. Awesome. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and stick things down. So the first layer that you can put down is your designer paper that's five by three, and that's gonna fit right between the first and second score line. All right, this is gonna go right here and right there, and you're gonna see about an eighth of an inch on each side. I'm just gonna shift it a little bit here. An eighth of an inch on each side that is still exposed. So there's some Knight of Navy there, and then on this side, you can see a little Knight of Navy at the top. This will go, oops, we're gonna do this one next. This will go on the inside, and that will fill this spot with an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom, okay? I'm gonna scroll through here. Oh, okay, awesome. I thought I was missing some comments, but you guys are all quiet. You must be listening. Um, if you have questions, shout them out. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Leslie. <laughs> All right, and yes, thank you. If you do share this video, um, you can share it while we're live or you can share it afterwards. Just mention that you shared it because that gets you entered into a prize drawing too. All right, so we've got our little message on the inside that you would then sign with your name. Then you'd fold the chocolate inside. So we're gonna do that next, like that. And oops, one more thing before we fold the chocolate inside. We wanna put this little paper here. I suppose we could do that after, but we kind of need to know where our ribbon's gonna go. So this one's gonna go right above the bottom section of the pocket. So that's about an eighth of an inch away as well. So we're using that eighth inch kind of as a, a universal border on all of them. Thanks, Gail. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. So now we'll take our 17 inches of ribbon and for this wine bottle um, tag, little pocket here because it's a little wider than another one that I'm sharing tomorrow <laughs> um, because it's a little wider you want to cinch it harder so you're actually gonna kind of curve you can see there's a curve there and that's okay you want to kind of curve it because you don't want your chocolate to fall out so we're gonna tie it tight tie it in a bow if you tie it in a knot then the person who you're giving it to um, we'll have trouble opening it, but that's your choice. You can tie it in a knot or a bow. Okay, so now we've got our bow on there. You can adjust it. And then I've got another, do you guys see on my table, I've had two ribbon, uh, two scissors on the table. That's because I use one for ribbon and one for paper. That's something that a lot of people that work with fabric know. Um, as a paper crafter 20 years ago, I learned it because Ribbon is fabric, so you'll want to use one ribbon just or one scissors just for ribbon. Don't cut paper with this one. Keep it sharp. Okay, so there's our pocket, and now you can see we can kind of adjust it so it's flat or whatever, and you can kind of shift the ribbon down. It's not a perfect hold. It's kind of a temporary hold, and you want to get this designer paper tucked underneath that ribbon too. But 
It will be a welcome, fun surprise when they find it on their, their wine bottle or whatever, their door, wherever you're gonna put it. Okay, so now we need to add our glue dots to our leaves. And I really liked the look of, I think it was this one here. Yeah, this one here. I think this one's supposed to attach to the back of the flower here, but I kind of liked it coming out more. So we're gonna pick up a glue dot with the other end and that's gonna stick behind <laughs> this, uh, the bottom, let's see here, I'm gonna turn it the way I like it. So it's gonna come right about there. Um, I might move it in further. Why did I stick it there? Hang on a minute. There we go. And then the other one, I thought this one was kinda long here, that portion, so I'm gonna tuck that one on underneath the flower. But it's really up to you. You have two ends to choose from, really. So that's gonna go right about there. And then you can either use glue dots, which I'll use here, or you can use snail adhesive or whatever adhesive that you want to use, but that's going to attach to the bottom left-hand corner of your, oops, I have a glue dot that's exposed. Hang on a minute. Okay, that's gonna attach to the bottom left-hand corner of your pocket, like that. Okay, oh, you can see the shimmer. Yay, all right, awesome. Now this one is going to come um, out from the top of your tag, but you'll notice on here, if you cut really well, that there's two kind of flat leaves. Those are the ones that I'm gonna hide underneath the white. So we're gonna put some snail adhesive across the top, and then we're gonna just tuck those behind like that. See? <laughs> and then we can put adhesive over the back, and add that to our the front of our tag. And I that's that's why you put this one on last too, because you kind of want to see how far that um, leaf or that poinsettia flower goes up. Now another option is if you want the flower to kind of peek out um, above the top as it curves, you could do that. But I'm gonna keep it protected more so it doesn't fall off, and we'll put that down here. Grabbing my glasses, because we're gonna color something really, really tiny now. We're gonna take our Wink of Stella and our terracotta pad, and I've already done kind of a squishy technique where you um, squish your pad together to get kind of a pool of color at the top. So we're gonna dip our Wink of Stella, or again, you could use a blender pen for this. We're gonna dip that in just a tad, and we're going to touch the insides of these little berries because um, berries can be orange, and so can poinsettias, right? It's not really an orange-orange, it's more of a reddish-orange, so I think it looks good. Oh my gosh, these are so small. I wonder what stamping in 10 years will be like for me. <laughs> this is interesting, having my eyes change over time here. Oh, here's my, my scrap paper. You wanna clean it off so that you have a clear one ready to go the next time. Okay. <laughs> Bone folder, great for creases. I obviously did not use it much today. Sorry about that, you guys. The last thing that we're gonna use is the rhinestones. And we have a couple different sizes. Boy, I need a new sheet. <laughs> I'm running low on my rhinestones. All right, so these are gonna go on the big one up here. And I just put three in the middle. I just thought it was a fun way to put a center on the flower. And then we'll put some small, oh my gosh, they are, there we go. And then we'll put some small ones on the little guy. And if you put three there, it really covers up where the die cut berries were, you know, because there was a berry center, if you remember. Just kind of, I don't know if it's even berries. It's not berries. It's the center of the flower and it just looks kind of, I don't know, like it's got little bumps in it. <laughs> I'm not a florist. I'm not a gardener. I just like to stamp my flowers. I don't even know what they're called half the time. All right, there's one. You can pick them up with scissors like I'm doing, or you can pick them up with your take your pick tool like this. Oops, there's a shovel end too. <laughs> shovel end. It's not a shovel. I'm sorry. It's a spatula. See, you can go like this. 
And if you have more like a flatter kind of embellishment, like something like that, that's easy too. <laughs> that's the shovel. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We have two of them and they're made almost identical, not really, but now I can give wine to two friends, family members this Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever. Oh, Christmas, there you go, it's Christmas. It's for Christmas. Phew, because I don't think I have time to go get another one of these bottles of wine. There it is again, if you wanted to see it. For those of you who live near me, you can get that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Some free advertising for that company. All right, let's go to uh, the computer here, and we're going to pick winners for prize. Oh, before we do that, though, I want to make sure that um, that uh, I share, you, share with you the prizes that we had from last time um, and what we're going to draw for for this time. I tend to go so fast through that part that I don't I neglect to share with you what uh, we're drawing for. So for this time, um, we are going to be drawing for where did they go? Oh, they're on this end of the table. Hang on. It's um, it's kind of like Christmas. You get to pick two from the selection I have because I have a bunch of little things hanging out in my drawers. I have blade refills from the old trimmer. I have blender pens. I have some purple posy ink pads that may or may not have issues, don't know. And then I, <laughs> I know we've had some purple posy issues. And then I have some ribbon, uh, full rolls of ribbon. This is a retired ribbon though, but it's full rolls of white satin ribbon uh, that are approximately five eighths inches in width. So you could do some great gift wrapping with them. You could do some beautiful paper crafting projects. So the winner for today's live and for when we draw again next week off of YouTube and Facebook, you get to pick two, okay? So you tell me which two you want when I draw your name for that. But we'll draw first for the winners from last week's broadcast when we shared, what did we share? We shared the, uh, oh yeah, that one card that opens up from a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So the winners get uh, some note cards. So there's 12 uh, Gift of Fall note cards and envelopes along with a pen from Paper Pumpkin, because this is all Paper Pumpkin stuff, and a stamp set from Paper Pumpkin, a roll of pretty ribbon from Paper Pumpkin, and a stampin' spot called Mary Merlot. So this is one prize, and then our YouTube winner also gets that prize. So congrats to those three winners that we're gonna draw today, okay? You, na you need the paper cutter pieces, Don said, okay, so Don, this is what you do. You go, please, 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 me, 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 right? That's what you do. I swear, well, it, it works sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I've got my, my computer is set up. All right, here we go. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna go off of our um, Facebook page first from last week's video. So we're gonna click on videos. And there's the live one, but we want the one from last week, the stitched nested reveal card. That was what it was called. And we're gonna bring that link into our comment picker. Click the search bar. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Don. <laughs> oh, rats. Marianne, you're gonna have to watch the replay, I guess, huh? All right, we have 229 comments to choose from from last week. We're gonna click the start button down here. Cross fingers, cross fingers. This is for last week's. This is the paper pumpkin stuff. So the winner for that is Marie Shell. Yay, congratulations, Marie. You get the paper pumpkin uh, gift of fall kind of you know, all that goody, the, the goody stuff, okay? Now we're gonna grab a winner to get that same uh, collection of goodies from the YouTube. And so we're gonna grab that link and put that in our comment picker. Search to find how many people, oh, we're gonna choose from 155 commenters for that. You guys are awesome. Start, and our YouTube winner is Erica Berger, Bergeron, Erica Bergeron. I think I pronounced that right. If I botch up your names, you can yell at me. <laughs> so congratulations to you two. Now we're gonna go back to um, my Facebook page. We're gonna click on videos and it has refreshed. So those of you that are live with me have had a chance to put your comment in. We're gonna grab that link and put it in comment picker. And how many people have commented today so far while we're live? 
103 of you. I love you guys. Do you know that? I feel so, like, I feel like I have a whole huge class keeping me, this is, feel. it feels good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's click our, our, click on the start button and choose the winner for this video. And again, you get to pick two if you're the winner. The winner is Nancy McKenzie. Yay for Nancy. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to click on your name. It's going to bring us to another page just so that it finds you easier. The other two people, you're going to have to find me because um, I can't really click on your name and find you very easily. It doesn't find you. So, but yay, I found, I found Nancy, I'm sure. We're going to uh, sign off, but before we do, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to watch in this busy week, especially if you're from the U.S. and you are trying to get your turkey dinner ready. It takes like a week to get this stuff going. I tell you, these dinners are huge. Um, also, I'm going to be broadcasting next week uh, on Wednesday again. My kids will be back in school. So Wednesday, December 4th. If you missed, oh, there's Marie's name popping up. <laughs> Yay, Marie. Where did I, when did I draw you? I drew you for the, hang on a minute. I drew you for the first winner. So hopefully you caught that. Okay. Anyways, um, sorry, got sidetracked. I saw her name come through and I'm like, that's so awesome. Yay. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you is if you want to um, get the dimensions, the supply list for this project, you can either rewatch the recording once I'm done here, or you can visit my blog and you can copy and paste. Um, the blog post for this project will go on my website, stamp your art out. Oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> stampyourartout.com on Saturday, this coming Saturday. And that is Saturday, November 30th. Crazy week ahead for us, you guys. I hope that you um, have lots of great times with your families. Thank you for my, your prayers for my dad. Um, have a great week. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye.